Last week, Lost Ark released its brand new April content patch that included the Glavier class, and I want to main it. The problem is, I want a time crunch to hit 1415 item level before vaulting, which releases in May. This is the story of the Glavier launch and how I wasted my life savings becoming a Glavier main. With my current main already being 1405, it felt pretty intimidating to leave behind, considering you need an insane amount of materials to reach 1415, but luckily with the April patch giving everyone a fate and power pass, my Glavier was able to start off its journey at 960 item level. I think I might have chosen the wrong voice option. Once I was in the game, I was given a chest of 960 items and began equipping them. Get out of the fucking way, dude! I'm trying to look at Booba! Eh, there's not much Booba anyways. I immediately went to my stronghold to begin accumulating training camp XP and accidentally used the lower XP on- Oh sh- I gotta go see if that's still rolling. Uh, along with the update came our first battle pass, which as a fellow free-to-play gamer, except for the founder's pack and except for the extra character slot I bought, I was pretty hesitant to buy as I would then be known as a free-to-play except founder's pack, except character slot, except battle pass gamer but that still counts as free to play, right? So while the battle pass gave me an instant injection of tier 3 mats, I still needed to escape tier 2, and with no life shards, it was time to tap into the materials I had been saving for the past 3 weeks. Look at all those shards. Yeah, this took a while. You were also given a chance to grow hot, which I'm not passing up, and I had a few more shard bags to get through. After what felt like 62 hours of opening shard bags, it was finally time for our first honing session. And I'm out of leap stones, which means it's time to do tower. But then I remembered I had 200 more leap stones waiting for me in my stash, which I had to open 10 at a time. What is with this game and opening boxes? But it did give me the leap stones I needed to reach 1100 item level without stepping foot in any content. And you know I had to take a screenshot to show off to all my friends. I'm so cool. I browsed the cash shop a bit to see the new skins, which I would of course never buy as a free to play except founders pack, except character slot, except battle pass player. And I didn't really like the skins anyways, so it was on to Punica to begin tier 3. Upon arrival, I was placed in some little girl's bedroom and decided this was as good a place as any to test out my skills. I ended up choosing the White Battle Pass mount, which is actually awesome and my new favorite mount in Lost Ark, and was then subjected to more Lilies than I would have liked. Please just shut up. I then ran into a guy who wouldn't stop talking about how much he was looking forward to Artist because she's just so cute, and then battled a squad of killer clowns that almost beat my ass, I won't even lie. I met some little girl who told me she was the CEO of Punica and that the killer clowns were bad for her business and ordered me to fight monkeys and barrels, I don't know, I'm barely keeping up here as well. After getting rolled by the CEO of Monkey, my next opponent was a clown co-representative who challenged me to a trial by combat, and to nobody's surprise, I won, as usual. I reported my victory to the little girl, who then tasked me with killing another competing businessman, and at this point I was starting to catch on to the fact that this girl is just using me to grow her business across Punica, but knowing me, I'll do anything for the right price. I then met her grandma, who told me she was secretly running the business from the shadows, which seemed pretty typical for these types of corporations, and my next target was a doll manufacturer, as they said toys make children creative, which was bad for turning them into future factory workers. What is wrong with you? As I said, I'll do anything for the right price. Upon my return, I was hailed as a hero of capitalism and completed the Punica storyline. The time had now come to run my first Chaos Dungeon on this character, and since I created the character early, I have a full bar of rest bonus. The goal is a full set of 1302 gear on our first run, but it's okay if it takes two. I would just really hate to get stuck under 1302, as then I couldn't even progress into tier 3. Okay, there's one. And another. I lost track. I just- I hope I get the full set. Yes, okay. 1302, time for the big honing session. I got to something like 1361 before running out of leap stones, which meant it was time to scour the world for any leap stone source we could find. First stop was Anguished Isle, which gave me a cool 37 leap stones. Next stop was the auction house for the rest of them. And 
And there it is. With item level 1370 achieved, our next stop was Areja's Well Hard Mode in full blue gear with trash stats and almost no engravings. This was definitely a carry run unbeknownst to the people in my party. And unfortunately for them, I might have been a bit too heavy. We wiped over and over and over and over and over. We were in there for almost a full hour before calling the run. Luckily, on my second run, though, I got turbo carried with a two shot on the first boss and a one shot on the final boss. I crafted my legendary weapon, honed it up as much as possible, which wasn't very high, and it was on to the second half of Areja's Well. This time, I actually lived to the end of the final boss, which means I did not get carried, crafted what legendary gear I could, honed those pieces as much as possible, which again wasn't very high, and finished off the day with the Chaos Dungeon and two Flame Fox Yoho runs that. yeah. After all was said and done, my item level was 1375.83, which I was pretty happy with for day one. And that concludes the day one Glavier journey. It went much better than I expected, to be honest. That is, until I ran Argos. Ah, ah, oh. But that's a story for another time. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.